Right. You're not feelings police. You're law enforcement. Come on, Chief. You know better than that. And Chief, yes. you're parked in a handicap. You're parked in a handicap. You're parked in a handicap for a non-emergency. I'm going to have to ask you to please leave. Oh, Jay Perez here. I'm saying, the tents here. I explained to you the reason. If he decides the guy wants you arrested. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel, where we highlight a few clips of police interactions and police misconduct, with some educational pointers to keep you educated and prepared for your next police encounter. My name is Police Encounters, and my goal is to help educate the public about your rights and how to handle police interactions. As an American citizen, we are given the rights that protect us, and it is the police's duties to protect those rights given to us by the Constitution that they swore an oath to. With that being said, the channels we will be covering today are Anthony X1A Audits Nasty Nathaniel Do be sure to check them out in the description below, because without them, there's no police encounters. And before we do get into our first video, go ahead and gently smash that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified. It is such a small and easy task for you, but it does help us out tremendously. With all that out the way, let's go ahead and cover our first clip. <laughs> We're just taking a tour of the new building. I'm sure once I get it open, we won't, we won't be allowed to go back there again. <laughs> Were you guys just residents or what? Yeah, we're just taking some pictures. Do you just like the building? Yeah, well, it's a, yeah, it's a new building. We just want to see how our taxes are being spent. Yeah. yeah. But, man, once it finishes, no one will be able to go back there. You guys yeah. live in town? No, we can't answer personal questions like that, but yeah, we're just, we pay taxes. Oh, I don't care. Yeah, no, I know. No, you've been very nice. You've been cordial. And don't worry, we're not here to, you know, bother you, get your tools or anything crazy like that. Yeah, I we're just curious. Yeah, no, we're just you walking around checking. No, that. we don't want to bother you guys yeah. when you're working. That's the one that went around the block over there. Hope he's coming over to talk to us. Let's give him the silent treatment. What do you think? Okay. Do you want to get a burrito? Tacos? Burrito? I'm perfectly fine. You can still record me in the bench line. But I'm just letting you know you can't be in the bench line if you are found in the Hold on, I got someone here interrupting me. Yeah, we're trying to drink. I think we we'll go get some sandwiches, maybe. Well, I'm gonna go back there. You better come on over and get get the cuffs out. my keys just in case. Okay. What's up, brother? Hi. Oh, we got a cat. Runaway cat. You have to step out of there, sir. Uh, this is public property. It is not public property. Who owns it? Uh, oh, the oh, hold on, hold on. There you go. How's it going, brother? What's your name? Oh, I, I can't give out that kind of personal hey, information. Here's the thing. Yeah. Uh, this is not public property in this Who owns it? It's the contractor that has control over it. Well, he's working for the city. He's getting paid with our taxes. I'm sure I could pull up the contractor bid. Still, he's a private entity. Yeah, and that's why we didn't go inside to bug him when There's he's a in. safety precaution. Sense. Right. I know he's. Yeah. I'm, I'm explaining. To no, I hear you. I'm, and I'm listening. The problem is, is that there's a liability issue. Right. Okay. The liability is, is if you get hurt on here it's not the city it's their private entity that gets in trouble so just to clarify then so you're saying it's a more of a safety concern but he was saying we're going to get arrested so technically i'm on here why are we why am i not getting arrested right now he's saying is that that individual that's responsible for the property is asking that you are not on the property so he should probably close the doors put some tape up saying hey he should you know but here's the thing it's still public no, it's still a private property. Well, we, we, they, they wouldn't be allowed to start work on here until someone takes possession of it. He's not the custodian of the property. He's just a subcontractor. The, su the, the custodian of the property would be like the, the city manager, the city mayor, in a sense, and they would need to put up official we, we signage. I hope we got backup. One of them know there's code, code four. We don't need backup for this. If you guys do arrest me, I'm not going to fight you. I'm, I'm not. I'm I'm, not. Well, this guy threatened arrest for me coming on my own property. 
while I'm talking to you. I don't know what that officer said. I'm just here when you talk. But I'm standing here right now, so if you want to take me in, I mean, you're welcome to do it. You'll have a lawsuit. Okay. I'm sorry, I can, let me hear what he's saying. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, go ahead and come out. So, so just to clarify then, uh, under threat, we will be arrested? Yeah. So, well, it is public. You guys, the, the city owns okay. it. Okay, but that's to be. Let me step out here then, real quick. Go ahead and come out. I don't want to get too close. And... What's your What's your name? Oh, hey. So this this is this is city property, Chief. We have a right to be here. The contractor doesn't own the property. So what we're going to do, guys. He works for he us. For his work, he's not responsible for random citizens. Yeah, Chief, no, it's not a I know you didn't take your. I know you skipped the. I, I know you skipped the day of de-escalation. De-escalate. This is our property. We can't, we can can't be here. This Here's what we're gonna do. Guys. Can't okay. arrest us. Certainly can't arrest us because the law's not being broken. The contractor's billings aren't don't come into play. The, the contract. When he's explaining what you're not hearing. So just to clarify, then you're gonna. So the chief said you're gonna arrest us if we go back on our public property. Just to clarify. Yes. That's what What's the difference saying. between here and right there? What's the difference? The barrier. There's a fence line. There's well, that's open. It's open. Completely open. Guy, so. He's okay. not down here. The main contractor who's responsible for this property, he talked to him. He's on his way. He says he's going to tell him. He wants to arrest him. Okay. All right. Well, we already left the property. Okay. And even if they want him arrested, Great. you're not feelings police. You're law enforcement. Come on, chief. You know better than that. And chief, yes. you're parked in a handicap. You're parked in a handicap. You're okay. parked in a handicap for a non-emergency. I'm going to have to ask you to please leave. Here's the deal. You guys can do whatever you want with your attorney. You're being talk with their attorney. But we are handling the matter right here, right now. And we left. You guys said under threat of arrest, and now we left. That's how trespassing works. You have to give us a warning, and we left. Which is fine. Okay? No, I explained to you that you guys were having your lunch plans and wanted to ignore me, so I can take it. Well, yeah, we're not required to listen to you. Talk to you. That's just because you come up doesn't mean oh, the I'm not saying you got to But here's the thing. Oh, Jay Perez here. I'm Patch saying, on the here. I explained to we you the reason. Stop if he decides you guys want to be arrested, you. you're going to be arrested. That's okay. it. The they don't get the control if we want to be arrested or not. We left. We, we already left out of the gate. Listen. Yeah, we will. You're going to be personally liable because you're going to be violating our First Amendment. You may want to call your city attorney and look at the California Tom Bain Act 52.1, $25,000 minimum fine if convicted. It doesn't come out of your union. It doesn't come out from the city. It comes out of your personal check. I will own your jet ski, even your dog, brother. You're not feelings police, exactly. You're law enforcement. I'm not breaking a law. This is public. I'm public. We left the, the gated part just because he wants us to. It doesn't mean he gets to. So what's the penal code? Do you work for the contractor or do you work for the people? Do you work for the people? It's going to be a civil he matter. He just said it's a between and a crack. Yeah, and you guys aren't civil matter, please. Is, is, but here's the thing. Are we going to have another issue with you guys going on there? I can't confirm that or okay. deny it. Well, I'm going to ask if it's under threat of arrest, I won't go back there, you like you said. could do me a favor, just, you know, you can stay in your public area, record all day if you want, but if they call us back, then we're What if they call us back and we're not behind the gate, though? They can call all day long. That's not our problem. Right. That's not our problem. But if you guys are on the property... We're going to have to issue a trust. You, well, you just said, you just said we can be out here as long as we don't go past the gate. Okay. That's what the chief said, even. Yeah. This I have it recorded. So I can be here all day long where yeah, I'm standing, you want to stand right and they can call 50 times. That's, That's not my problem. I've said that. I'm not going to argue. Well, you said if they call again and you come back. Right. If you call again and you guys are on the property. Well, we're on the property. I'm on the property right now. Now, I'm going to go in this alleyway. Technically, I'm off property. Perfect. And by the way, FYI. They are, I don't know if they have permits. I don't see anything stuck like tape there, but they're blocking I, the alleyway. I don't know if they have permits either. I don't handle permitting. I'd like you to That's arrest. Can, can you do me a favor and arrest the contractors for parking this stuff here and blocking my, my way of, you know, I want to go through yes, that way. I got We don't arrest on, on municipal issues. Then why are we threatening to arrest me for not breaking a law? I'm not, I'm not saying Well, that. this guy did. Your partner. Listen, you want to bring up municipal issues? Go over there to City Hall and you can do that, okay? Just asking. Don't go back. Okay. So just to clarify though, are you asking or is it a lawful order? Just to, I just want to be on record, just to clarify and really reiterate what you, the chief, and this other gentleman here. Will we be if I go back in there, will I be arrested? That's my question. Is it yes or no? Just yes or no. If you go back in there, yes, you're gonna be arrested. I won't go back there then. Uh, then I won't go back there. And then you're gonna be served a a carbon copy of a trespass notice showing that 
can't go back on that phone. Gotcha. Understood? Gotcha. Okay. Under threat of arrest and duress, we won't go back there. Let him know I don't appreciate the way he communicates with citizens and- Chief. So the chief's got to call uh, the sergeant and his other officers to do his dirty work for him. He just rolled around the block a few times. His little black SUV. Okay. And we are uh, at Martinez. Okay. A little more nice, a little more cordial. No hard feelings. I mean... Let, let's agree to disagree then. I'll send the footage. That you, I'll send it to you if you got it on your card. If it has an email, you can see it. You give me your card, right? I think I have it. Yeah, you did. Yeah, that was. You want to write an email on there? I, I can send you a little clip. But your ride's about, is she, is she like an Uber driver or using a city vehicle or? No. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she wants to go. She left. <laughs> oh, she left, okay. What's policy for, uh, I mean, I know you guys have your, you know, you guys are California exempt, but are you still required to have front license plates? For our policy, when it comes to our policy? Cause I noticed your car doesn't have a front license plate. I was just curious. Yeah. Well, that vehicle right there is. Is that like an undercover kind of under? Kind of. But, I mean, it's still a vehicle, like, I'm just saying, like, because I would expect, like, you know, you got to follow the same laws we do. We all do. I agree with you. Yes. So I'm just wondering why it doesn't have a license. We all do. Yes. Could you maybe put that in your, maybe a report, like, hey, order a new license? Just, you know, got to lead by example. I, could, I, could, I, I agree with you. You know, I, I'm, that, I, that I'm, I'm, I'm one of the ones that, yes. Whether I have 100,000 people or a million people watching the video, yes. I'd like to, I'd like you guys to show up. Oh, here we go, guys. There's Mr. Darren. Oh, there you go. Oh, Darren. Oh, Darren. I'm waiting for you, Darren. David. I thought it was Darren. Well, you work for the city. You're working for our taxes. I don't work for the setup. Hey, be nice now. Be nice. Come over here like that. So this is the event number. I'm just going to record it so in case it smears again. No, we didn't trespass her. There was no sign saying that. Uh, it belongs to me, brother. That's my property. So That's, my property. That's my property. That's my property. That's my property. You're a dick. Why don't you watch your shit? Is that a threat in front of the officers? Under you know under California, hey, shit. under Penal Code 422, that could be a threat. That could be a threat. Take a hike. You're dismissed. You're dismissed, brother. Right. Dismissed. Bye bye. Here's the thing. Bye, Darren. All right, I think Merced County went around the corner there. Let's see what's going on. He might be having some words with a general contractor. Why do officers have to bother us? Like, go on and actually do something other than bothering somebody that's not doing anything wrong. So, they're just going to arrest him for being on public property? That wouldn't work out too well in court. That would be a very unlawful arrest. Now, look how the chief of police is parked in the handicapped spot. He should get a ticket, or at least one of these officers should be smart enough and give him a ticket. But nope, they could do whatever they want because they're above us. But I promise you that if a citizen was parked there with no handicap sticker or tag, they would for sure get a ticket. Now, these dupes are horrible. They're handling the matter, but yet they don't know how to handle it because everything they're saying is a bunch of BS. Now this general contractor came off very hostile, but it's okay. He's just a big grumpy Papa Smurf. Nash Nathaniel out here in the uh, city of Denver, Colorado. And joining me is Denver Metro Audits and Sweet Tea Audits. And together we're going to be conducting a First Amendment audit of the Church of Scientology of Colorado. We're going to make sure that our friends at the Church of Scientology respect and honor our constitutionally protected right to film what we can see from a public space. Because if they don't, well, we might have to sick old Ron on them. So yeah, folks, this is it. This is the uh, 
Church of Scientology Denver, but it's actually officially called the Church of Scientology of Colorado. As I previously mentioned, I'm out here with Denver Metro Audits and Sweet Tea Audits. And uh, as far as I know, this particular Scientology organization has never been audited. Um, so this is going to be a first for them. See if they uh, respect our right to film in public. Well, not a, not a first for uh, Scientology. I mean, we all know they've had plenty of First Amendment audit experiences. But um, this uh, one here is an ideal org. It's a part of their uh, ideal org system. It was opened in uh, uh, <laughs> 2012. And, um, but this building actually used to house uh, what was called the American Radiator Company. And Scientology likes to buy uh, these like old historic buildings, you know, like uh, the Hollywood Guarantee Bank building and, um, you know, the, the Detroit Ideal Org uh, used to be housed. Uh, that was in an old uh, bank building as well. Uh, but they like to buy these, uh, these uh, old, uh, like, historical landmark properties. And some of these ideal orgs, like the one um, in Chicago, you know, they'll buy the, you know, they'll buy, like, a building that they plan to, to turn into an ideal org. And it'll sit for, you know, 10, 12 years or more. But uh, this one is uh, up and running. And we're going to see if they respect our uh, constitutional right to record. Because if they don't, well... We might have to give them a good old-fashioned spanking. Now, that's the uh, Scientology cross, and people have asked me why, you know, being that they're, you know, they're not a Christian church, why do they use the, uh, the cross? And there's a couple reasons for that. First of all, if you notice, it has eight points. And uh, the, eight, uh, the eight points represent the eight dynamics, which is all like Scientology's lingo. But part of the reason they use the cross is so they can further, you know, attempt to identify themselves as being a legit church. I mean, we all know it's, well, I mean, the U.S. government recognizes that as a church, but we all know uh, what it really is. But yeah, that's why they use the, uh, the cross. So we got this window here with bars, like, uh, what is this, the uh, Denver RPF? Is this where they put the RPFers? They lock them down in the dungeon there and... Yeah, I mean, why would they need bars on the windows? I mean, I don't know. Maybe this is a high crime area. Yeah, I don't know Denver that well, but. So one of the things you'll see at a lot of these Scientology orgs is they have these like "all are welcome" signs, and I mean that one doesn't exactly have that verbiage on it, but it says "come in and start watching." Well. I don't know, maybe we should uh, come in. I mean, you know, I don't see any signs that say no trespassing or you can't be here. Or, I mean, you know, I'm sure they're probably going to run us off. But uh, who knows? They didn't run us off in uh, Detroit or uh, Nashville. So I don't know. Maybe they'll be welcoming here in Detroit. Uh, no, excuse me, <laughs> in Denver. Uh, uh, too many margaritas, folks. You can't even talk right. So, um... If any of you have ever been to any of the Scientology orgs, you know that they have these signs that say all are welcome. But that's not always uh, really the case. And uh, we're going we're gonna to test our right to be able to film in public. and Because we are in a public place. Uh, oh, she's not even coming in. And she's just locking the door. It says come in for a tour. So, well, that was very welcoming. It says come in for a tour, and then you they come over here and they just lock yeah. the door on you. All right, we got this Scientologist in there. I'm, a, I'm assuming he's a Scientologist. He's probably not a Jehovah's Witness, but he's looking at the uh, the security footage on his uh, computer. And then oh, we got the lady's on the phone. oh, she's on the phone. Hi. I wonder who she's calling. Uh oh. Oh, we're in trouble now. Hi. Yes, and I want you to get off the property right now. But you got signs. You got we signs were asking state. for a tour. Okay. Well, that Let's was get, a very warm welcome. Yeah. Well, she's on the phone. I wonder who she's calling. The police. Hi. Hi. Are you a Scientologist? No. Okay, that's great. <laughs> oh, All of this little guy. Huh. <laughs> I know, we love to say, hey, we I think that dog is a Scientologist. Hi. 
<laughs> she loves oh, cats. Great. <laughs> Ma'am, are you a Scientologist? I am not. No. Oh, that's great. That's no, a good I'm thing. Just, yeah, living around the area. How how does it feel like with you say you live in this this yeah, area? Okay. Yeah. Uh, how does it feel being like neighbors with the Church of Scientology? Do you honestly, I never see much about it. It's really? Just, yeah. Doesn't it's kind of indifferent yeah. to it. Okay, yeah. no, that's fair enough. That's Other than that documentary with Tom Cruise, I don't know. Yeah. Much about it. <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about Tom Cruise. Yeah, <laughs> only way I know it. Yeah. But, yeah. Hey, yeah, well, if you do, well, just real quick before you go, I don't want to keep you here forever, but if you do ever go, like, if they do ever, like, con you into going into a tour, don't ever give them your personal information. 20 years from now, you'll be receiving emails. I'll give them the name Mary Yeah, Jane. yeah, yeah, yeah and, and, and never give them your credit card info either. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think it's that. I've, I've had issues with that. Yeah. Well, you have a good one. Thanks yeah, for being nice. Well, yeah, have a good night. Well, she said she's not a Scientologist. Oh, Karen, easy now. They're allowed to film you. It's part of our First Amendment rights. You should know this. Let me help you. If the public eye can see it, so can the camera. Now, I don't know what was in your wheeze that morning, but you came off a little aggressive. How are you going to have a sign that says, come in for a tour, but yet lock them out? They were just trying to get a tour. That was all. Now, that wasn't very nice. If you're not going to let people come in for a tour, then you should definitely take that sign down. I mean, I really don't get it. Nathaniel was doing nothing wrong to bother her. He was just filming and talking about the church. They didn't even take a single step inside and she wanted them gone. Maybe she just doesn't like her job or she doesn't like people. But I hope she knows even though she didn't want to be filmed by Nathaniel and his friends, she's still being filmed by the cameras that are inside the building watching her every move. Who knows? Maybe she's a ninja and Nathaniel caught her on recording. That's probably why she got mad. Well... I hope she eats good Wheaties the next time, because maybe somebody else would want to go for a tour, and if you don't let them, you would just be losing money. That's going to be it for today's video. If you have a video you'd like us to review, please leave a message in the comments. If you'd enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Be sure to check out the channels we watched today out. Give them a subscribe. Thank you for watching. Until next time, on Police Encounters.